allow me to dazzle you with a scenario. Let's say you work for an organization that has to deploy lots of applications. Let's say, for example, you have two or more Intune tenants that you care about. One could be a test tenant, the other production, one could be company A and the other could, could be company B. Whatever the scenario, in fact, even if you just have one tenant and you just have to deploy a few applications, the solution I'm about to show you works very, very well. All right, let, let's jump straight in. I'm going to head to Intune Packager, which is spelled P-C-K-G-R dot com, and just click sign in with Microsoft. Let's take a look. So from Intune Packager dot com, choose login, scroll down to login with Microsoft, login with your Azure AD account, give it a few seconds while it verifies the Microsoft account. And we're logged in. Now there are a few steps to get set up and started, but they're very, very simple. Let me just jump over to that and take a look. I'm going to choose my companies. And in this list, you can see I have no companies yet. I haven't set this up yet. We're going to choose add company, tap in the company name, which is first coffee. Spell that right. Choose add and then connect to Intune. Just need to sign in. And there are some permissions that are requested. Obviously, if this is going to do anything of value for us, it needs to have some permissions into the tenant. Let's review those in some detail, though, first. So it wants to read organization information. It needs to understand the tenant name and various bits about the tenant. It wants to read the Microsoft Intune devices. It needs to get a list of devices that are being deployed to. It wants to read groups. Now, this is where the write comes in. It needs to write Intune apps. That makes sense. This whole thing is going to be about deploying apps. It needs to read domains and also sign in and read user profiles. The sign in is relevant to the fact that I've just used this app to sign in to my tenant. So that's good for me. I want to choose accept. And that's all we need to do to get this set up and ready to go. Now I mentioned if you need to deploy a lot of apps, let me show you what I mean. I'm going to head into the app library. It's automatically chosen the tenant that I'm referring to. As you might have seen earlier on, I'm able to add more than one tenant by adding more companies if you need to. But for me, I'm just going to add my first tenant, my single tenant, and show you what I'm talking about. I'll choose add a new app. So you can see there are a load of apps that have just appeared in this list. I specifically want to search for Zoom in this case because I've done a couple of videos on deploying Zoom. And I want to see what it's like if you're using the Intune Packager tool. Typed in Zoom, and there you can see we have Zoom machine installer with the version and the system context. I'll just choose the plus button there and it says application is ready for your deployment on Intune. Okay, well that was simple. So it says awaiting deployment. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and choose deployment and we want it to auto update. That sounds fantastic. Let's choose deploy to Intune. It's adding the WinGet pre-install first. Okay, that makes sense. Needs to do some uh, need to have the WinGet application installed on the device first, which makes perfect sense. It's just deploying that now. And the Zoom installer has been added to the queue. Okay. What well, seems fairly simple so far, I've just typed in the app name and pressed deploy. Uh, I was told this is very simple to work with and it's very simple to understand and is also very impressive. So far, I'm impressed with how easy it is to get started. Let's see if it actually manages to deploy any apps to my tenant though, without me hating it. Let's, let's take a look. Okay, it says it's just up uploading the files and the Zoom installer has been added to the queue. That's fine. I'm going to head over to my tenant and show you just the applications I've got in the environment so far. I just scroll down in the Windows list. You can see I've got Microsoft 365 apps, Edge, Slack, and the Wii. Oh, the WinGet pre-installed one that we just, we were just talking about is there. I didn't add that. That's, that's, just been put there by the system. It says success. That makes sense. Okay, perfect. So the next thing it's going to do is add Zoom. So give that a few seconds. Okay, so that one says it's now successful as well. I doubt it's deployed it to my devices because I haven't told it which devices to deploy to. And if it's just deployed it to everything, then I'll be, I'll be upset. So let's jump into here and refresh this Windows Apps page. And we have Zoom. We have WinGet pre-install. Okay. Neither of these are assigned. I'm going to assume I only need to deploy the Zoom app to my devices. So it says assign application to one group. 
Okay. Scroll. Oh, so it's got all this information about the app. It's got the logo, which is nice. It's got some install and uninstall information. Some requirements. Dependencies. It will install the WinGet pre-install uh, dependency automatically. That's perfect. So assignments. Let me just add in my Windows 10 devices. I've got a test device that I've just built yesterday. So review and save and save. Give that a few moments to deploy and see. Well, that was, that was simple. If that actually installs on my device, then I'll be, I'll be really happy. But in the meantime, while that happens, let me just take a look at other things. I'm going to choose add a new app. And we can see we've got Zoom here. We've already just done that one. Let's take a look at what else we've got. Let's say we've got Firefox. That one there, version 110 of Firefox. I'll choose add to that. Uh, let's do Chrome. Add to that. Let's do 7-zip. There it is. Perfect. Okay, so let's just add these. Let's take a look at how easy it is to add more applications to Intune using Packager. Adding these to the queue. Perfect. Okay. And in a few moments, as you saw just then, it will add these to Intune and I can start deploying them. I'll do that in just a moment. But I'm just going to go in Add New App. And I've been working with YubiKeys recently for secure sign in to Azure AD. I'm just going to tap YubiKey or Yubi because there's a, a Yubi application that I need for managing my keys. As you can see, it's not available. So let's take a look what we can do. I'm going to head over to the dashboard. Scroll down to the bottom and request application. And it says we can automatically package any application from Winget and the IDs can be found at winget.run. Let me grab that, put that into my URL and I'm just going to tap Yubi. And we have full results. So we have the Yubi key manager, which is the application I wanted. Just click on that. And we get the ID. So this is yubico.yubikeymanager. Head over to Packager, tap in that there, and choose Submit. And it says you'll be notified via email once the application is packaged. They're going to go away and automatically package that for me so I'm ready to install it in my environment. I don't think it's instant, but I'll get an email when it is, and I'll certainly let you know in the comments when that comes through. In the meantime, let's head over to our Windows Apps section. Scroll down in here. You can see we've got Firefox there, not deployed. Let me just go ahead and deploy that. We also have Chrome. Let's quickly do that one as well. And then we'll just head over to my Intune managed device where I've been deploying all of these apps. Now the applications have not come down just yet because I've literally just done that in real time done that deployment in real time with you. So just double check, there's nothing, there's, they're definitely not there, that's good. I'm gonna go to settings, just push this along. I don't need to wait too long to demonstrate that this works and check that this works. Let's give that a few seconds to sync. And there you can see we have the icons on the desktop and just jumping into the start menu, you can see they're right at the top, they've just been installed. That is incredible, very little work for me. And don't forget, I can easily replicate that in a new tenant with just a few clicks. Now, you might be thinking, this is great, but it's clearly not gonna be cheap. Most services like this are priced per device and the organization. And for large organizations, even small organizations, that can get very expensive very quickly. We're talking thousands of dollars per year. Well, I have news. This service is pretty new, and for that reason, it's being offered at a silly low price. Just $25 per tenant per month. $25 per tenant. Also, as a limited offer, you can sign up now with a $5 per month discount per tenant using the code shown on the screen. I need to warn you, though, this is a very limited offer, so don't wait to get yourself signed up. See you next time.